Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Got a little bit of an unboxing today. I've just been down to my PO box and uh, picked up a nice little package. Been hanging out for this one. Um, this is something I've been keeping an eye on for a long time. And this is a little gift to myself. Um, so if anyone else wants to send fan mail, <laughs> there is my PO box address. I will also have it in the link in the description and I will try and remember to put it up on screen as well. So. If you ever felt so generous, you have the ability to do so as well. <laughs> Not saying you have to, but uh, it's there. <laughs> um, now I'm trying to open this with a texter. But I know what's in it, I'm gonna be opening it. I'm gonna be doing a little unboxing as well after this, so stay tuned for that. Uh, if I can open this, I don't have a knife on me, so I'm I'm going to get a knife. And thanks to editing software, I now have a knife and it only took me less than a second. So yeah, we're gonna <laughs> really crack into this. It's an older set. It's uh, really one figure I've been wanting out of it and I'll explain that as I uh, open it. But I got this set cheaper than people are actually selling the figure for on, on eBay. So I'm pretty excited. Yeah, it's really well packaged. A, uh, it's in a nice bag, the air pockets, I've got the cardboard paper. Now, this is cool. So this comes from, before I show it, this comes from 2005, uh, sort of post, pre-post Revenge of the Sith. It is the Jedi vs Sith Battle Pack with Yoda, uh, Anakin, Asajj Ventress, General Grievous and Obi-Wan Kenobi and uh, this is a cool looking set I know the figures aren't the best by today's standards uh, Saj Ventress is probably one of the best though that's that's a great figure um, General Grievous looks okay not too bad at all uh, yeah Obi-Wan yeah but the main reason I wanted this set is for, for Anakin um, Basically, I'm looking at the the outfit, and yeah, it's based on his duel with Asajj Ventress on Yavin from the Gendi Tartakovsky series. So, um, and I want to sort of modernize that figure a little bit, you know, like updated articulation, a little bit better, um, yeah, better articulation basically, and have it look a little bit more, you know, modern because um, there are some parts that aren't articulated. It's, it's a weird sort of half pre-post figure, you know, like uh, sort of from the era, I guess, you know, early 2000s, sort of between Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith. Um, but yeah, it includes Stormtrooper armor, which is, you know, Clone Trooper for Obi-Wan there. A couple other packs, there was Rebels versus Empire, um, Jedi versus Separatists. Yeah, I literally got this one. I've had a, I've had one on my watch list, and uh, yeah, just haven't been really willing to uh, bite the bullet. But uh, this one came up, and it was actually you know a far better price than uh, I was watching just the Anakin on his own. And uh, yeah, it was a <laughs> this was a better price than than the Anakin alone. So I, I'm excited. So uh, let's go over to the table and open it up. Right, so let's get a look at this again quickly before I open it. So now that there's a, uh, you know, excuse the glare, I do have my my ring light just to help illuminate. Yeah, Ventress, still to date, probably one of the best Ventress figures there is. Really, really nice that one. The Anakin, it's cool. I had this one years ago. I no have no idea whatever what happened to it. Um, and yeah, I could never work out where he came from. Um, and it wasn't until recently, like six, within the last six months, that I decided to seek out the figure again and uh, yeah, discovered that it was from this pack. Yoda. That's the Obi Wan armor. So we'll put that on him and see how he looks. There is Obi Wan. And Grievous. So let's free these figures. Let's see all the elastic bands that once held them in have been decayed <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's interesting. It looks the 
side. Let's take out this big tray. That's a cool backdrop. That could come in handy. Might, might hold on to that for the moment. All right, so. Hello there. <laughs> so let's just pop out these one by one and get the armor pieces out. So that's a. <laughs> oh, that's just falling on the floor. Never mind. Collect that afterwards. Alright, so let's go to the back. About all these individual armor pieces so yeah they've they've done an obi-wan in this armor part of the legacy collection 2008 um but it wasn't a sort of snap together you know put the armor pieces on like this um it was released as a figure with a removable helmet and uh kind of a funny figure because obi-wan looked like a sort of stereotypical angry scotsman and uh, it's proving really. So I know the ties have uh, come loose, but uh, the tape still holds strong. Just gonna be very careful not to cut the accessories themselves. Just the tape. I'll get them out. Have those pieces. So put that aside for now. So we're going to use this it's a bit of a tray. So let's let's start off with Obi Wan. We'll get Obi Wan out and we'll, we'll take a look at this figure. And he's uh, very deep in there. That's for sure. All right. So let's get a look at Obi Wan here. So immediately off the bat, he's uh, he's got the swivel swivel elbows, which you know by today's standards are pretty rubbish. And for uh, 2005, this probably would have been okay. Uh, no sort of knee or knee articulation. He does have ankle articulation. So yeah, he's got hips, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged head. You know that's it's not amazing, <laughs> but it actually looks better than the angry Scotsman. Um, and yeah, he's already got all these little pinholes in there for for the armor. So uh, let's let's get him dressed. There's a couple of pinholes there in his boots. So let's uh, let's dress him up and see how he looks. It's one of those funny figures. They've done them a couple of times over the years. Um, you know, Han and Stormtrooper. They just don't look quite right, you know. for the time. I mean, as a kid, you probably wouldn't care. You'd probably be pretty excited to have a uh, Obi-Wan with sort of interchangeable clone parts. But uh, yeah, they definitely made that improvement a couple of years later with the uh, Legacy Collection one. So there we go, there is one Obi-Wan Kenobi. Stand him there, and I'll have to find that other shoulder piece after. Oh, I'll see it now. There we go. All right, let's get these out. Let's look at Yoda.
So I'm pretty sure this one was sort of repacked quite a few times over the years. And probably one of the worst looking Yodas <laughs> there is, to be honest. It's, uh, he's not great. Look at look on his face. Yes, it's not a not an overly nice looking Yoda at all. But uh it's fine. We'll find a, a place for him. Excuse my dog, he's uh running around playing with a ball. So yeah, it's not a not a fantastic looking Yoda, but again, I will find a spot for him weird with the cloak sort of flowing out like that. It was sort of sitting more sort of snug around him. But even then the that head. Yeah it's probably a case of the sculpt being okay, just the eye paint looks a little bit weird. But that's okay. Look at Grievous. Now I know this one was sort of repainted and repacked over the years this has seen some seen some stuff this has been sitting in the packaging for a very long time lightsabers are bent the bands are twisted and decayed But uh, all in all, still not a terrible looking Grievous. Maybe this one wasn't repacked. And then a lot of Grievouses over the years. And his lightsaber's just falling out. That's okay, I'll leave that. So there we have him. A little bit more sort of dark and... Dark and weathered. There's his cloak. To peg into the front there. Yep. There we go. That's not really pegging in at all. It's just a really sort of soft rubber. And uh, it doesn't really sit in there well at all. So you kind of got to, you know. glue that in but it kind of looks okay with the with the cape on like that it looks all right just another cool sort of grievous to be marching through the marching through a corridor or something they're giving him the sort of white cloak which looks cool it's got the sort of the general grievous sort of Kalish marking or whatever it was the blaster Yeah, another figure that I will find a spot for on the shelf. Probably end up with my uh, Tartakovsky clone, Clone Wars sort of figures. But it looks okay. So we'll put him aside. Now Ventress. I recently did a video of this one of, of Ventress figures. You know, within the last 6 to 12 months. Um, some of that rubber band off. It sort of just decayed. Making sure it's not all stuck to the figure, it's really weird. But yeah, this definitely a best looking, best looking Ventress out there from Yavin. A duel with Anakin, which is just one of the best moments of that whole series, to be honest. Again, I'm just dropping stuff all over the place here today. So yeah, Ventress is a great one. Again, sort of swivel shoulders, uh, swivel elbows, sorry. Not a little bit of articulation under the legs, but 
you know, the aesthetic of the figure definitely comes out on top. Looks fantastic. Great details there on the skirt. Yeah, really, really nice figure, this one. Stoked to have another one, and this is my second one. So yeah, there's Sarge now until the last one, Anakin Skywalker. Let's get him out and take a look. So yeah, an interesting, interesting figure. that he's got the uh, robotic arm. Don't like that he didn't have any el elbow articulation, but I guess the tooling in there didn't really allow to have that and that at the time. So this arm, um, those uh, arms are on the same joint. Which I don't think I ever realized back in the day. stuff everywhere what a day <laughs> it can only get better but yeah I'd really love to I'm looking to upgrade this figure so updated bits and pieces joints arms you know this arms okay if I can get some wrist articulation there I'll do that this one I'd love to update to have some elbow articulation update the head with probably the new peasant disguise Anakin which that one doesn't look terrible this one here doesn't look terrible but uh yeah it could definitely do with an update but uh yeah I also want to work on a black series version of this Anakin I think that would be just really really cool you know the lightsaber needs a bit of a soak in some hot water just to straighten out again these things have been bent up in the packaging for so many years but yeah there's just the little bits where he's like pants are ripped open there this sort of bottom of his shirt there is sort of ripped and torn and you give him Sasha's lightsaber from from that jewel and you could potentially have a pretty good Anakin here just a little bit of work I'm gonna have a go at because yeah, I like the I like the look of the figure. I really like this look. Let's try and work out. Does that have a? Feels like it's got a. Uh... Yeah, it does. It's got a weird twist pull mechanism in the leg. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. If it does, it didn't really, doesn't really work now. It might have been a pull to squeeze the legs and he'll spin sort of thing. But uh, yeah, it's not really working now. But that's okay. This thing's going to be uh, fodder, mostly. Try and get an improved Yavin Anakin to fight Ventress. Which is uh, sort of the main reason why I bought this pack. You know, I already had the Ventress. So yeah, could definitely look at finding Ventress a new home. If anyone is interested. But uh, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll just keep her for now. And I'll put the call out if I decide to move her on. But um, yeah, looking forward to seeing what I can do with this Anakin. And uh, yeah, I'll try and find some home for these figures. So yeah, I didn't pay much for this set. Really, really happy with it. Um, yeah, no, not the best figures, but that's okay. That's not the whole. That's not the purpose of why I bought it. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you all for coming and hanging out for a little while. Um, this was a fun, fun video. So thank you for hanging out and opening some toys with me. And uh, we'll see you all in another video very, very soon. So until then, may the force be with you always.